Hello, Zebra Herd. We are returning to our grand Pokemon adventure with the brand new Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, the hidden treasure of Area Zero DLC. Today marks the release of part one, the Teal Mask, which will have us continuing our story, finding new Pokemon, and exploring a new area. So let's get started. Oh, we're getting a call from our Rotom phone. Hello, hello, Zebra. This is Jacques. Hi, Mr. Jacques. Sorry to bother you all. You're probably out searching for some nice treasure. You see, we have a school trip every year around this time. It's a special collaboration between our academy and another school. And would you believe it, Zebra? Your name was one of the ones chosen to attend. You look at the ghost study and experience the great outdoors off to the east in the land of Kitakami. It's a long trip to get to this year's destination, so we can't send too many students this time. You really are a lucky one, getting selected as one of the participants. Come to the school's entrance hall when you're ready to hear all of the details. Of course, you don't have to take part, but this kind of chance isn't likely to come again, so you should really give it a shot if you're interested. Hope to see you soon. All right, well, I'm definitely interested, so let's run over and take a look at the entrance hall so that we can go on our field trip. So I guess maybe, do we talk to you? Yeah, I guess we do. Mr. Jacques said the students for the school trip would be around here. Well, I'm one of them. Hi. Hmm, are you? Oh, you must be. You're one of the students chosen for the school trip, aren't you? And your name was... Zebra. Zebra, huh? Well, aren't you full of fire? You're positively dazzling. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, and you have a terror orb. I guess Paldea is rich enough in resources for that sort of thing to be a common sight at school. Unless that's not the case? Are you perhaps an especially exceptional student? Oh, but here I go on and on, and I haven't even introduced myself. Call me Miss Briar. I'm sorry I'm late. <laughs> so I guess this is Mrs. Briar. Uh, oh, hello to you too, Zebra. What a lucky skiv you are, getting to take part in the school trip so soon after transferring here. I sure am happy for you. I wish I could go too. <clears throat> huh? Oh, I'm sorry, Miss Briar. I got a bit carried away. Well, as Mr. Jacques so kindly stated for me, my name is Briar. I'm a teacher at the Blueberry Academy. That's a school in the Unova region, you know. Mrs. Briar helps set the curriculum there. This year's Blueberry Academy's turn to run our joint school trip and supervise the students. That's why I came here to collect you. We'll be heading to Kitakami, a land known for its picturesque fields and rice paddies. Ooh. The place has a rustic feel, but there's also something rather mysterious about it. You see, the same energy presented in Paldea's terrestrial phenomenon has been detected there. I'm hoping to do some digging into the matter myself in between my supervising duties. Though I'd also appreciate the chance to take a good look around the great crater of Paldea. Ah, yes, well, there's not much I can do about that without permission from the Pokemon League and Director Clavel. Oh, I know. I've already put in all the proper applications. I trust that I'll get a favorable response soon. Ah, well, hmm. Oh, sorry, Zebra, forgot all about you for a moment there. Anyway, the school trip. Think of it as a chance to continue your treasure hunt on a grander scale, to search beyond Paldea's borders. I'll even provide you with a special update to your Pokedex app, if you'd get out your phone. Sure. Aw, oh, so our road toms are interacting. The Kitakami, or Kitakami Pokedex has been added to your Pokedex app. So our Pokedex has grown quite a lot then. And there we go, all done. Now you can go wild registering all the Pokemon you find in Kitakami 2. Oh, and don't worry about a permission slip for the trip. I already cleared things out with your mom. You just go and have fun. All right, we're going on a field trip exploring a whole new area. How exciting. <laughs> your Mr. Jacques is quite charming, isn't he? Delightfully direct when he wants to be. I guess so. Now then, Zebra. It's quite a trip to, to the land of Kitakami. I hope you don't mind flying or long bus rides. Let me know as soon as you're ready to set out, won't you? 
All right, well, I think, you know, we're as ready as we're gonna get. Let's set out to the land of Kitakami. Are you ready to set out for Kitakami, Zebra? Yes, we are. I've been eagerly awaiting this moment since the DLC was announced, so I'm definitely ready. Great, we'll set out together as a group once the other students arrive. I hear you were all chosen for this trip by lottery, so this may be the first time you meet. I know my role is to chaperone your, you kids around, but I fully intend to have some fun of my, of my own while I'm at it, just so you're aware. By the way, do you know the Violet Book? Uh, I've never heard of it, I don't think. Unless they mean the book that we found in our adventure? Really? Well, that's unexpected. I'm quite sure at least one copy was donated to the school. The author of the Bible book, Heath, was in fact an ancestor of mine. Whoa. I even have his original manuscript. Ooh. Look here. These are the pages that were blacked out and made Ill Ill illegible in the published version of the book. Whoa. A disc Pokemon? While separated from the research team in the crater's depths, I found a strange entity. Whether it was a Pokemon, or even alive at all, I know not. It bore a shell with layers of overlapping hexagons, and gleamed brighter still than gemstone. Viewed as a whole, it resembled a mysterious, brilliant disk. I have tentatively named this creature Terrapagos. I suspect that its very body is made up of the key material that causes Pokemon to shine brightly and crystallize. Whoa. The Pokemon depicted on these pages is called Terrapagos. It's a mysterious Pokemon that Heath allegedly encountered when he delved even further into the depths of Area Zero. Not that the general public believed him. It's my dream to find Terrapagos and prove that Heath's records were all true. Though I haven't yet been able to secure permission to enter Area Zero, unfortunately. But that's fine, it'll all be fine. All I need to do now is focus on the work that's in front of me. Miss Pryor, we're ready to go. Oh yeah, these are new students, I don't think we've met these people. Looks like the gang's all here. All right, everyone, to the land of Kitakami. So it looks like a lot of our friends we met on our original adventure are joining us for this one, which is a little sad, I'm gonna miss them. But we're hopping on a plane, we're flying over, that's so cool. <laughs> And here we go. The first DLC of Scarlet and Violet, The Hidden Treasure of Area Zero, part one. Here we go, yeah, the part one, the teal mask. Whoa. So a whole new area to explore. Some Pokemon we didn't encounter in the main game should be here too. We're finally here. My butt is killing me after all those hours sitting. First the plane, then the butt, that bus. <laughs> well, you all survived the long trip. And we haven't lost anyone along the way. All here. Then welcome to the land of Kitakami. This is the stage for all the new experiences and learning opportunities you'll have out in nature. Whoa. It's actually my first time here too. Why, the rice fields really are just dazzling. Up ahead is Masui Town. That will be our base of operations for the duration of the trip. I'm already seeing somebody adorable Pokemon. Miss Briar, I don't feel so good. Uh oh, all that travel must have given you a dose of motion sickness, hmm? Why don't we pause here for a moment and take in the sights of the fields? Will do. Now, Zebra, I have a little request for you. Could you run ahead to the community center in Masui and let the caretaker know we're here? It would also be great if you could explain that one of our students is feeling unwell. I can do that, for sure. I knew I'd be able to count on you. On your way then, I'll look after your poor travel buddy here. All right, well thank you, Briar. And here we go, so we have to head to Mossby Town, and do we have our Pokemon with us? I can't run Mariah right now, but yeah, I do, I have my full team with me. Well, sort of, these are the teammates that I had. Yeah, let's go ahead and switch this out now, because of course I was leveling up Pokemon before, so a lot of those are just out here. So I'd like to switch to my normal team really fast. 
All right, the team is all here. We have all six of our Pokemon that we became the Pokemon champion with. And we can also see some other Pokemon around, like you. So we don't actually have this one right now. I'd love to just sort of give it a try. All right, here we go. So this is, of course, a Yadma. And I just wanna, right away, it's a level 57 Pokemon. I wanna throw a quick ball at it to see if we can't just catch it straight away. We have 71 of these. Obviously, with it being a new area with tons of new Pokemon, I'll be trying to catch as many of them as I can. So we'll see if we get our first new Pokemon of the area. Ah, not quite. Unfortunate, it's gonna use Screech against us. I feel bad for a student. <laughs> they said that they weren't feeling well, we said we were, we were gonna go help, but then we immediately just walk in battle in front of them. We'll use a quick nuzzle against Yanma and see if that knocks them out. Ooh, it does. Okay, well, maybe it's not the most time effective thing to worry about it too much right now. I just sort of was curious to see if it would let us. Um, okay, but yeah, there are lots of Pokemon. Around. Oh, you're so cute though. So adorable, I have to try. And I see a Wooper over there. Before we had the Hiswian Wooper, so the Poochiena. Okay, very cool. Throw a quick ball Poochiena and see if we can't catch you. Come on, come on. Make it so much easier if I can get some quick catches. Come on. There we go. Awesome, so our first capture of this DLC. Very cool. We get some extra experience for it too, of course. And as you can see, we got number seven, Poochiena, the Dark Bite Pokemon. Uh, Puchiana pursue their prey in packs. Once the prey is exhausted, the pack finishes it off, but sometimes they pray the prey retaliates and the pack flees. Um, very cool. So we're just gonna send you to a box for right now and continue on our little adventure here, but boom. So I guess it has its own Pokedex in that way, some of which are Pokemon we've already found, but pretty cool. I still can't run Mariah at the moment. Uh, but a lot of these other Pokemon, I would like to just leave them for a bit so we can continue with the main story. Um, and then as maybe we're making our way back, we'll get some more of them. Get a great ball right there. But there are a lot of Pokemon to find. That is for sure. Some of them definitely new to me. Uh, some of them, of course, have been in previous Pokemon games. I don't know if any of these are like new, new Pokemon, but at the least, some of which are definitely from Pokemon games I haven't played too much of. But with this, we enter our new town here. What was it Hasui? Who is that over there? Are those the caretakers? Might be. Seems like they're in conversation. I like their hair, both of them. Sis, look, there, there's one now. Well, they're coming over. So, you're one of the students who came from the Paldea, Paldea region, huh? Whoa, way cool. Hush, Kyrian. I'm Carmine. Sorry, but I just can't, I can't just let an outsider like you wander into Mosby Town. If you insist on coming in, you'll have to battle me first. Come on, sis. You just want to battle? Making this big fuss over nothing? I told you to hush, Kiki. Just ignore my little brother. Aw, oh, man. All right, let's do this. Get in position. All right, I guess we have the battle. I thought we had a medical emergency we had to tend to, but then this takes priority. I'm going to have some real good fun with you. All right, so our first battle today, we, we're going against Carmine. It seems like they wanna, wanna prove themselves here. You are challenged by Pokemon trainer Carmine. They say, oh, Puchiana, we just call one of these. Very fitting. All right, well, we have Palmont, and I think maybe we'll have a big level advantage against them. I'll have to wait and see. Welcome to Kitakami. For your first experience, get ready to eat dirt. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> That's pretty intense. Maybe not the most welcoming bunch. We're gonna use close combat against you. They are level 60, so pretty intense when it comes to their power, but we can handle it for sure. Uh, oh, you knew about type matchups, huh? Our defense falls a little bit, but that's no problem. So we're able to defeat their first Pokemon. I think they had two more. Guess we'll see in just a moment, but uh, Carmine's about to send out Vulpix, which I think Vulpix is fire, right? We'll try Floatzel. We'll see how Floatzel goes. All right, so yeah, our, our time here at the uh, Kitakami area, region, whatever you might want to call it, is already heating up to be pretty intense. 
Yeah, okay, I think we can handle Vulpix. We'll just go ahead and use, uh, I think we'll just use, use Whirlpool here. There we go, almost enough to knock you out. Because they're wrapped up in the Vortex. I was hoping we'd just do a tiny bit more, but they're using Disable. I mean, that doesn't really matter too much because they're already in the Whirlpool. I'm pretty sure it's gonna swirl them around again in a moment here. There it is, and that should be you knocked out. Awesome. So they only have one more Pokemon left to deal with. As far as I'm aware. Cool, okay, so Carmine is about to send out Poltergeist. What is this? Uh, we'll switch Pokemon, because I'm not really sure what Poltergeist is gonna be. Maybe I'll try Masquerada. Hmm. So here comes Masquerada. And we might just wanna try flower, or flower Trick just to power them down. Whoa, that's so cool. All right, let's battle. I'm just gonna use Flower Trick and see if that gets you. Poltergeist, let's see how you handle this one. Oh, not bad. It's not very effective, but it's a critical hit because of the move. So we're able to knock you out. Ah, come on. That was just a lucky hit. Oh, well, she's not happy. The opposing Poltergeist fainted. All right, and with that, we are able to defeat Pokemon Trainer Carmine. I'm sorry, they don't seem happy. You, who are you? I'm Zebra, nice to meet you. All right. See, I'm sure we're coming at this pretty advantage just because we beat the whole main game. Wowzers, you wanna be my sis? I can't believe it. There's no way you should have been able to beat me. Fine, I guess you pass, barely. Seems I've got no choice. I'll let you into town, but only if you become one of my grunts and do every little thing I Oh no. Oi, what are you doing causing a ruckus out here? Here comes trouble. Come on, Kiki, we're out of here. But, but, I, wait up, sis. What an interesting little duo. Why, hello there, stranger. You must be one of, one of the students from that Paldean Academy, right? I help run the community center here in Moss Sweet Town and a fair few other things besides. I'll be looking after your group during your visit. I hope those two kids weren't giving you any grief just now, were they? Uh, they were fine, they were fine. I hardly know what to do with the two of them, especially that Carmine. Always been a handful, that one. I apologize if she gave you a hard time. It's fine. What's that, a member of your group fell ill down by the bus stop? I better get over there and give them a hand so they can make it into, the, into town. I'll take care of everything. You go ahead and get yourself settled in the, in the in at the community center. We'll catch up with you soon. All right, well, thank you. All right, so now I guess we get to explore Mossy a little bit. Very cool. So yeah, head into the community center here in Mossy Town, which I guess I can maybe talk to a couple people. It looks like they have a little healing tent. I've never seen that before. But here we are at the community center. This way, everyone. Zebra, I owe you one for fetching the caretaker. Our little travel buddy is feeling much better now too. All right, everyone, this is the community center. This is where you'll be staying while you're here in Kitakami. The plan was to have you and the students from Blueberry Academy stay here together. But it turns out this space is going to be all for you, our visitors from Uva Academy. Oh, right. Those two kids were originally from this town, weren't they? So, in you come, don't be shy. So I guess the two that we battled obviously are from here, or were supposed to stay with us, but they ran off. Definitely a bit odd, but come on everyone, pack right in. Oh, no need to worry about your shoes or anything. You can leave them on in here. If they're extra dirty, just try to rinse off the worst of the mud the washing, using the washing station by the door. Huh, okay. Nice and clean inside, don't you think? It's all newly built, so it's as good as anything you'd find in one of your big fancy cities. This here is the lounge. You can watch TV, chat, or relax however you like. And well, let's see. Over there is the cafeteria, and toilets will be down that way. When you want to get some sleep, please use the rooms down the hall there. 
we've got enough space that each of you can have a private room to yourself. So I think that about covers everything. But if you run into any trouble at all, don't you hesitate to talk to our fine staff at the desk. Thank you for the tour, sir. All right, kids, do you have anything to say to the staff who'll be taking such good care of us? We're glad to be here. Or, 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 thanks for having us. Thank you for having us. What a bunch of well-mannered students. I can already tell you're going to be wonderful visitors. So you just think of this place as your own home away from home and relax. You must all be tired after such a long day. I know it's a bit early still, but why don't we have dinner and then call it a night? We've got plenty of food ready for you all, so I hope you've brought your appetites. All right. So it looks like we're just gonna relax and enjoy the rest of the day. It is a field trip after all. Thanks for dinner. You're free to spend the rest of the evening as you like it in the community center, but remember that tomorrow the program will be officially kicking off. Don't stay up too late or you might oversleep. All right, so I guess we can explore around here a little bit, get some rest in your room in the back. The Blueberry students will join us tomorrow. I hope you all get along. I don't know if we will. I wonder what's scheduled for tomorrow. I'm so excited, I don't think I can sleep. Welcome. Welcome, dear Paldean student. We provide a special service to visitors here at the Kitakami Community Center. If you've opened your bag and whatnot while you've been here, you might have noticed that the theme of the upper and lower borders of your screen in, in some menus now changes depending on your location. Do you want to change the settings of the upper and lower borders on your, of your menus? I think that they're fine to match my location. Okay, I hope you enjoy sightseeing around Kitakami with your current settings. Okay, and it looks like we have the uh, the restrooms over here. <laughs> okay, I'd already did inspect those too much. Let's see what's going on over here. Did you enjoy the taste of our local Kitakami fair? Uh, yeah, it was great. <laughs> I can only imagine. The food here seems really healthy, but it was still really tasty too. Awesome, so I don't think we can go into the cafeteria or the conference room or anything. See, so yeah, I guess we're good just to head to bed. Eep, I checked out my room and there was a bug Pokemon in there. Guess they don't like that. Ready to call it a night? Yes, we are. And I guess that healed our Pokemon up too. So yeah, we're finishing up our first day here at Kitakami. A pretty basic one, of course, but Always good to get situated. Oh, and I guess it's the next day already. Morning, everyone. Did you sleep well? Starting today, you'll be joined by our two students from Blueberry Academy. Go on, kids. Time to introduce yourselves. Hi, I'm Carmine. It's a pleasure to meet all you outsiders. I mean, visitors from Paldea. Hehe. <laughs> uh, I'm Kieran. Carmine and Kieran actually grew up here, so ask them for help if you need anything. And you two had better be for uh, uh, of real help. You hear me? Aye, aye. Right. Now that that's settled, why don't I tell you all a bit about what we have planned for you? This school trip of yours will be an exercise in orienteering. First, we'll have you split into pairs. Then each pair will be tasked with finding three signboards located around the land of Kitakami. On each signboard, you'll find snippets of an old folk tale passed down here in Kitakami. Read them all and learn a bit about our home. To prove you've completed the task, we ask that each pair take a snapshot together in front of these signboards with their phone or camera. Take a photo together in front of each of the three signboards to complete your mission. It's a self-guided tour of Kitakami. Learn all about its rich history. Much more fun than sitting around and listening to me ramble on and on, eh? Wonderful, what an innovative idea for a group activity. Oh, and I've got a gift for each of you, of you as well. You obtained the Roto Stick. Cool, I wonder what that does. A stick to rest a Rotom phone on. It all, all allows you to take selfies from a little bit farther away than you could on your own. That's cool. The Roto Stick. Press the X button while in selfie mode to use your Roto Stick. The Roto Stick adds some extra distance between you and the camera, making it easier to take photos with your friends and Pokemon. See, it's a selfie stick. I hear these things are all the rage in the big cities. Use them when you take those photos. I'll even teach you a rad pose I came up with all on my own. You learned the Eureka emote from the caretaker. Ah, uh, yes, real rad. 
Remember that one of the goals of this trip is to deepen the ties between our two schools. It seems like having someone who knows the area well would be a big help. That being said, let's try to maximize the number of inter-school pairs, okay? Time to mingle. Huh, so I guess I get to choose one of those two to, to pair up with? Well, we already battled one, so maybe we should pair up with the other? I'm not quite sure. Uh, we'll talk to everybody and see. But, uh, what? I don't want to, ha want to have to pair up with someone I don't even know. I oh, know, I want to talk to some of the other people. So talk to the kids from the other school. I will, in a moment, that girl, Carmine. I'm not sure I trust that cheery greeting from her. We've got four students from Uva Academy and only two from Blueberry. So that means at least one pair will be made up of just kids from our school, right? I guess so. Be sure to tell me if Carmine or Kieran cause you any trouble during your stay. Let's try to maximize the number of inter-school pairs, okay? Time to mingle. So we could talk to Carmine. Hi, Carmine. You're a zebra or whatever, right? Let me guess. You wanna pair up with one of us poor, lonely, blueberry students? Uh, sure, why not? You guys seem friendly enough. Gosh, it's so sweet of you to go out of your way like that. What would we ever do without you? Oh yeah, so my little brother here has been all googly-eyed over you since yesterday. He wouldn't stop talking about you, even at home. I seriously couldn't get him to shut up. Sis, what are you telling him that for, dummy? Hey, watch what you call him dummy if you know what's good for you, uh oh. Oh man, poor Kieran. Look at him being all shy. See, my brother's no good at talking to people. He'd probably never work up the nerve to ask you himself, but he'd really like to battle with you. Sure. I'm down for it. Well, what do you know? Turns out that, that you're sorta nice. This'll make my brother real happy. Chin up, Kiki. Zephyr says he'll battle you. What? Wowzers, really? You don't mind? He doesn't mind a bit. Get to your positions, you two. Everybody else clear out. Make some space. I got this. So before yesterday, we battled Carmine. Today we're battling her younger brother, Kieran. Let's see what you got. Now just because they might be a little bit more shy doesn't mean they can't be a powerful trainer, right? You are challenged by Pokemon trainer Kieran. And they have Sentra. Whoa, so cute. All right, well we have Palmot here, which I think can handle Sentra pretty fine. Wowzers, I can't believe this. I get to battle you, this is awesome. All right. Oh no, they stole, they stole our magnet, that's not good. We're just gonna go ahead and use close combat here. I think it'll be fine. There we go, super effective. I think Sentrit's a normal type. So, that worked out pretty well. <laughs> I guess I got a lot of weaknesses. But there we go, Sentrit's defeated. Did we get our magnet back? I hope so. Because if not, I'm gonna have to find a new magnet. <laughs> All right, well, there we go. We do get some extra experience. Um, and now Yanma, which actually I can keep with Palma at the moment, because of course, as we saw earlier today, Yanma is um, a flying Pokemon, so electric type moves should be no problem with it. So we'll just use Discharge really quickly and see how much damage it ends up doing. Oh, perfect. So your other Pokemon taken down. I think they have one more left. The Yama seems to be a very, uh, oh no, that was it, okay. Gotcha. The Yama seems to be a very important Pokemon around here. I noticed that the tent with the, the healing Pokemon thing has a picture of Yama on it. Wowzers. So we were able to defeat Kieran as well. The sibling duo, they seem pretty tough, but nothing we can't handle. Good show. Nicely done, kids. Nothing like a friendly battle to get to know someone. Wow, Wowzers. You sure are strong, Zebra. You really aren't half bad. Kiki's nearly as strong as I am, you know? I don't know about that. This orienteering thing, we're supposed to group up in pairs, right? You should go ahead and pair up with Kiki then. What? No, sis, don't. Don't what? It's not like we can pair up. Or were you hoping to partner with some other rando outsider instead of Zebra? Well, no, but, oh man. Don't worry, he's just being shy. I'll go find some chump to pair up with too. What? Watch out for my little bro, you. <laughs> all right, I'll make sure he's taken care of. Looks like you're all paired up. Let's go ahead and mark where you'll be going on those Rotom phones of yours. 
Now then, off you go to do some exploring. Oh, and if you find yourself in need of any potions or Pokeballs or the like, head on over that way and stop by Peachy's. They'd be happy to set you right to rights. Uh, um, so it looks like we should probably start with that the signboard at Loyalty Plaza. That's all past the apple orchards on the west side of the village. It's close by, and I figure it might, um, make sense to, you know, visit them all in order. I'll probably just get in your way if I stick too close, so I'll just follow you from a safe distance. I mean, I don't mind you being side by side, but okay. No, I guess they're going in front. All right, see you, Kieran. So it looks like we're on our way when it comes to our adventure here through Kitakami. Ta take a selfie at the first signboard. So I don't know how far off that is, but I guess we'll follow them in just a moment, but I figure we'll catch up with people and maybe heal up too. Finally time to kick off this school trip in earnest. Get out there and do some orienteering. You've come all the way here to Kitakami, so you should see everything it's got to offer. Now then, off you go to do some exploring. And who did, uh, I guess Carmine's gone. I oh, know, here they are. I was gonna say, who did they team up with? Let's do this outsider. I mean, a uh, totally ordinary guy. Nice to meet you, Carmine. All right, cool. So I figure we'll go and heal over here, just in case. There are some new TMs available. I might take a look at that later. Hey there, this is the Pokemon Center. Are you tired, po or Pokemon tired and needing rest? Yes, they are. Just because we did a little battle there. And then I figure for the rest of today, we'll just go ahead and catch some new Pokemon in this area, because that's always a super exciting thing. Well, I like that the healer is different here. It's not the same like nurse. Very cool. Come back whenever you need. And then there was a shop over here that I figure we should definitely shop at a little bit. So don't be shy. Lovely of you to stop by. Take your time and have a look around. So let's see. Um, is there anything here that really, it looks like you did some drinks and stuff, which might be pretty useful. Maybe they don't sell too many potions. No, they sell potions right down there, but we got fresh water, water with a high mineral content. Can be restore, used to restore 30 HP to a Pokemon. Soda pop, a highly carbonated soda drink. That restores 50 HP, so I'll buy some of these. We have over $700,000, so I think we can afford it. Lemonade, a very sweet and refreshing drink. Restores 70 HP. And then uh, lastly, Moo Moo Milk, a bottle of highly nutritious milk. Restores 100 HP, so very useful to have some of this stuff for sure. Um, and then of course, all these. It looks like I'm a little bit low on some potions, but I think for the most part, I'm just gonna get like a good like 10 normal potions. Okay, is there anything else here that I need? I'm not quite sure. Um, I mean, maybe a couple more ultra. We have 49 ultra balls out. So, I mean, we also have quite a lot of quick balls. Those are usually just the ones I need the most of. So I think we're for the most part here. Yeah, we're, we're totally fine. We have all the things we need. Mayonnaise? <laughs> okay, yeah, we got all the, 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 I thought that was gonna be like another medicinal thing. I'm like, what do they use that for? No, this is all the sandwich ingredients now. I don't think I need too many of these, but, uh, Interesting for sure, so we'll leave it. Just just let me know if there's anything else you want, okay. And what about clothing, ooh. Is there new clothing here? I guess so. Yeah, we can't really see them for some reason, but there's just like different gloves and uh, socks and stuff. I think I'll take a pass. Um, all right, oh, now it's showing my character as soon as I back out. All right, we're good, thanks. Let's just go ahead and catch a Pokemon or two. I think that'd be a lot of fun. So, right over here. We'll grab that Pokeball. There's quite a lot of them. Ooh, even like a fancy golden one over here. We still can't, oh no, we can. We can pull them right in now. That's good. All right, we get the, what did we get? The Struggle Bug TM, very nice. Uh, you do what with rice? Let me get this straight. You put rice in your sandwiches? Don't see that around Kitakami. Huh, okay. But look at the, oh, I didn't even see this one down there. I was looking at the one on the road. This thing is so adorable. Oh my goodness, so this is a Sawaddle. I don't think I've ever seen a Sawaddle before. I don't know if this is a new Pokemon or just from one that I haven't played too many, because there was a lot of them I missed out on like the D DS era. Come on, yes, got it. All right, Sawaddle was caught, so adorable. So we'll see the Pokedex entry for this one. Okay, so number 13, Sawaddle, the suing Pokemon is a bug grass type. The bumps on their heads are sensory organs. When Sawaddle meet, they greet each other by rubbing these bumps together. Awesome, so that is great to see. Such an adorable little Pokemon. And of course over there to the left, I do see a Wooper that I'll try to catch because we've only found a Hisuian Wooper. Um, I think, it was it Hisuian or was it Paldean Wooper? Paldean Wooper, not Hisuian Wooper, right? I don't know, um, so many regions. Um, either way, I don't think we technically have, I'm just gonna try to throw a quick ball to see if we catch it. 
All right, here we go. Are we gonna get an easy catch here? Yes, we are. We still need to catch at Yanma as well, but that was nice. So Wooper was caught. A bunch of experience coming in too. So let's see the Pokedex entry for that. We do get one. Number five, Wooper, the water fish Pokemon is a water ground type. When it walks around on land, it coats its body with a slimy, poisonous film. All right, very cool. Will it have any kind of entry in the little Pokedex thing here? Yes, it will. So already sort of making a little bit of a dent in this is fantastic, but there's still more to do around here. I do see this uh, little crawfish one, wherever it's called. Uh, we don't have it caught, so I might as well try to go for it. And then I see a Yanma in the distance. All right. So once again, as per usual, just throw in a quick ball here. This is core fish. Come on, can we get another quick ball catch? I sure hope so. Yes, we can. Awesome. So we're doing a little bit of everything in today's episode. We're exploring the new region. We are battling new people and finding new Pokemon. All right, we get number 11, Corefish. Ruffian Pokemon is a water type. It can live in impure water where it doesn't need to compete with other water Pokemon for food. So its numbers have steadily increased. That's great. Okay, so there is that. That is number 11. And of course, there's some space there for like the evolutions of them. Look at it grow. Once the rice fields turn nice and golden, they're ready for harvesting. Okay, where did that Yanma go off to? Oh, we can claim a reward for the progress we made in the Pokedex. That's cool. Oh, what is this little thing? Whoa, it is itty bitty. I think I do remember this Pokemon. This is a, uh, a cutie fly. Yeah, I do remember cutie fly. So let's throw a quick ball at cutie fly and see if we can't catch it. Come on, come on. Ooh, yes, another new Pokemon. That's always great. A little bit more experience rolling in. We don't really need the levels too much right now, but uh, we got number 16, Cutify. The bee fly Pokemon is a bug fairy type. Cutify sucks up pollen and nectar with its long proboscis. It stores any pollen it doesn't finish eating in its fur. Interesting. Right, send that to our boxes as well. And I think there's a Yanma still nearby, so I really do want to find that. I wonder if Cutify evolves. Hmm. Of course, more Pokedex entry progress. I guess I can claim rewards for. But I got a great ball over here. Paralyzed skill there. Lots of useful things. Okay, here's the Yanma. So we tried to catch you before. It didn't go so well, but this is my second chance. Whoa, weird camera angle. All right, just gonna throw the quick ball and hope that it works out. It worked out for everybody else. If it doesn't work for Yanma, it's a, very, a little bit odd, right? Come on. There it is. Yanma's finally caught. So we added quite a lot of Pokemon to the Pokedex today. Really great stuff. Number three, Yanma, the clear wing Pokemon is a bug flying type. It can see in all directions without moving its big eyes, helping it spot both attackers and prey right away. Very nice. So just gonna go ahead and put all of that away into a box and put Yanma at number three. What's number one? Why is number one not even there? Weird. Uh, see so you now the Pokeball over here, the burn heal. But there we go. I don't know if there's really too many other new Pokemon around here. It really doesn't look like it. So I think that's probably where we'll leave it for now. It seems like this area is very promising when it comes to new Pokemon and adventures and experiences to be had. So we'll go to the first sign with uh, Kieran in the next episode of Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, the hidden treasure of Area Zero, part one, the Teal Mask. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.